Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a simple and regular ripple effect. This one's a little bit easier than the one that I've shown you last time. We'll create a new text element. Let me uh, use lowercase. I give it a bold style and you can use any font and even inbuilt styles. But if you use styles that have a background, the ripple is also going to be applied to it. So let me use one of these to show you that. So whatever the style has, a stroke, a background, this will also get a ripple. I use this one. Now we go to effects, video effects, distortion. And here we'll find two free ones, the ripple and the ripples. Ripple is a little bit more complex. Let me use the easier one, which is the plural, the ripples. Here we can only adjust it via twist and speed. Twist is the intensity of the distortion and speed, the duration of the animation. And here you actually want to go down to make it ripple a little bit longer. Let us go back to the more complex one and I'll explain it. Here again we have a speed option for the duration of this animation. In this case it is on loop anyway. So the speed actually determines how fast it goes through one iteration. Size is for the intensity. Sharpen and blur, you can balance them out. You can see that at the edges. The strength in this case, it determines the Y position. And then there's a twist yet again for the intensity. And as I've said, this also applied to the background in this case. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.